Hello, and uh, welcome to the Dev Environment. I'm Charlie. I haven't posted in a week or two, uh, and I just want to apologize for that. It's been the holiday, um, and it's been kind of a busy time. A uh, lot of fun, a <laughs> lot of cheer, <laughs> some drinks, good times uh, with friends and everything. And so I'm happy to be back into a normal routine and, and kind of getting things going again. But um, yeah, I uh, over the break, I had a wonderful opportunity to actually start building uh, an app that I had started about a year ago with a friend. Um, and it's been really amazing. Uh, I started building it in React Native. Um, I'm a big fan of the card game Pezak. Um, and so I kind of went ahead and, and started working on kind of building a, a, a native app uh, with Pezak where you can kind of like play it online with your friends and uh, and it's just been wonderful and I was sitting here and I was gonna do a video on chaining methods in JavaScript like just some technical nerdy things that I love about JavaScript but I realized you know I'm a huge fan of React Native um, React Native is getting more powerful every day um, there's React Native Web, so you can actually build web applications in React Native. Why would you do that? Um, because you can build a single code base for a native app, uh, for Android, iOS, and for web. Um, and hopefully soon, Apple Watch as well. So, if you're interested, um, I just was going to do this video just as a quick introduction, just to kind of explain how to get started uh, with Expo and React Native. Um, and yeah, depending on, you know, if, if we get some positive feedback, I might do one or two more videos of this. Um, and if people are really interested and they want to learn how to build native apps, um, as react developers, I am super keen <laughs> to keep doing it as well. So, um, what is Expo? Good question. Uh, so Expo is, it's kind of like a wrapper around react native. So Expo is command line tools, um, it's like a library for running these apps on web and uh, native, um, as well as it's a community um, and it's its own standalone application that is kind of like the same as iOS test flight. Um, or if you know you have a, you don't have to have a Google Play developer account. You don't have to have an Apple developer account. Um, you can just start building for free in Expo. Um, test your app natively, test it on your physical device, test it on your simulators, test it on the web, um, and get it to a place that you're really happy with, and then go ahead and purchase accounts um, for those developer uh, tools that cost <laughs> somewhere between $25 to $99 a year. So yeah, so I thought it'd be really cool just to kind of talk about it. So I've started up a really simple Expo app. And how do you start an Expo app? Well, that's a good question. Um, basically, what you want to do, well, I'm just like doing things through my command line here. But you want to run npx, and then you want to run uh, create Expo app. Um, and create Expo apps a lot like create React app or create next app. Uh, it's just kind of like a quick template starter. Um, and then doing the T flag here, um, that allows you to pass in um, the type of template you want to use. So for me, uh, I'm just going to go a blank template and then do TypeScript as well. And then when you press it, um, it's going to start asking you some questions, like what do you want to name your app? Um, just little things like that. Um, so I've already done this, so I'm just going to skip all that. But then you'll end up with something that's like this. This is just like the basic layout of what the app's going to be. So pretty much just has a single file. It's the app.tsx um, file here. And you'll see that the styles, for anyone who's watched any of my other videos, um, you'll see that the styles are in these style sheet that create objects that kind of like live at the bottom. Um, and then it looks a lot like CSS modules, um, but it's actually CSS in JS, <laughs> which is a lot like style components. It's a lot like JSS. Um, so it's it's kind of a unique styling object notation, um, object literal notation for um, laying out the styles. Um, and you can use style components with this as well. Um, but you'll notice that it's a little bit different. 
Um, the thing that threw me off initially about it was that in CSS, whereas it would be like background dash color, um, we've replaced it and put it as camel case. So anything like a line dash items becomes a line capital I items. Um, so that's how you do the styling, but that's just how you do the basic styling uh, of the style sheet from React Native. I will show you ways to do much cooler, much more advanced styling, um, which is nice. Um, you have this app.json. App.json is kind of like a config uh, for your app. Um, and then in the package JSON, you'll see that uh, we have some like core dependencies that are needed. Um, and then they give us some scripts. And so we have just a general start script, Android, iOS, and web. So why don't we run npm start? So this will kick off Expo. And then you're going to see that we have some options here. So uh, on the command line now, we have the option to press A to open Android, I to open iOS, and W to open web. Um, we also have a debugger. Uh, we can reload the app, and then we can also toggle the menu. So um, I'm going to press I. And then what's going to happen is you'll see right here, it's going to open the simulator on iOS. Now, Expo works across all platforms. If you're not on a Mac, you're going to need Android Studio. If you are on a Mac, you're going to need Xcode, and you're going to need uh, the simulator, so the Xcode command line tools. Once you install Expo and, and an Expo app, so go to uh, docs.expo.dev if you want to learn how to get started. Um, and once you install it, it'll automatically prompt you to install Xcode and everything. So you might have to do that the first time you're setting up. If you're on Windows, Linux, or Chrome OS, which I know is still Linux, but um, you can install Android Studio, um, and then you just press A, and it would open the Android simulator. Um, <clears throat> a lot of docs on the web too. I've done this before on Chrome OS, ironically. Uh, I did, because like Chrome OS now has like built-in Ubuntu support. Um, I've done it on Windows Linux subsystem, um, and then just on, on Linux itself. So uh, if you can get an IDE, and you can run a terminal, um, and you can install. You don't even have to have the ability to do a simulator because the thing that's really cool about Expo now is I can press W here. And when I press W, it's going to open my web browser. And you're going to see that I have my native app and the web all running at the same time. And so how do I prove that it's the same? Well, let's say hello from the dev environment. If I could spell. <laughs> there we go. And so you'll see it's here. Hello from the dev environment. And then on the web, hello from the dev environment. So real time, hot module reloading. You'll see something really, really, really cool that I absolutely love about this. And this is a reason why this is so interesting to me is that if I go onto my phone now and I open my camera, then what I can do is that I can scan the QR code and open it up. And then it's going to open up Expo on my phone, on the physical device. Sorry, it's a little bright, so it's kind of hard to see. I'm like <laughs> tripping at the colors on my computer. Um, but hello from the dev environment on my phone and on my Mac and on the web. So this is so cool because I have built all kinds of apps. Remember that Pazak Online? I can go pazakonline.com. And there we go. It's a web app as well. So this is so cool. I absolutely love this. Um, I was gonna, sorry for just, this is just an intro video, but uh, coming next week, um, I'll start showing you how to build some cool things, how to put in some styling, how routing works in React Native uh, with Expo, um, and then um, working with some libraries, working with animations, how to, make it uh, a really cool app. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, very excited. So I hope you are too. If you are interested in Keep Learning Expo, please give this video a like. Uh, and if you want to subscribe, that's awesome too. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to uh, start teaching you guys React Native and Expo 2023. Thanks so much.